everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Doodling Through Education. For my CC students, this is cycle one, week 15, science. For everyone else, that just means we are going to be talking about mountains today. We're going to be talking about the different kinds of mountains as well as the tallest mountain on each continent. So before we get started, go ahead and head on over to doodlingthrougheducation.com. There are now workbooks available and they're available by quarter if that would make it a bit easier. But there are four pages per week per subject that go along with these videos. And again, that's doodlingthrougheducation.com. There is a link in the description. Without further ado, let's start doodling. This week we are talking about mountains. So what is a mountain? Now I'm sure we've all seen a mountain before, but technically a mountain is considered any type of landform that rises at least a thousand feet above its surroundings. So mountains are taller than hills and they usually have steeper slopes than hills. Mountains are typically not found by themselves. There are groups of mountains and these are called mountain ranges. The highest point of a mountain is called the peak. But if a hiker is hiking to the top of a mountain, they will most likely only reach what's called the mountain's summit. And the mountain's summit is the highest area that an individual can reach. So it is not uncommon that someone who is trying to climb a mountain can reach the summit, but cannot reach the peak or the highest point of the mountain. So how are mountains formed? Well, mountains are formed by the movement of what's called tectonic plates in the Earth's crust. And we talked about this briefly in the previous video when we talked about the Earth's crust. So this is how great mountain ranges come to be. They form along the boundaries of these tectonic plates. Now tectonic plates will move very slowly and it can take a very long time for mountains to form, but let's talk about the different types of mountains and how they are formed. There are three different types of mountains and they get their names by how they are formed. And the first are fold mountains. Fold mountains are formed when two plates run into each other and the force of these two plates running into each other can cause the earth's crust to crumple or fold, hence the name fold mountains. Some examples of mountain ranges that include fold mountains are the Andes, the Himalayas, and our very own Rockies, which are in the United States. Next up, let's talk about fault block mountains. Fault block mountains are formed along fault lines where some large blocks of rock are forced upwards while others are forced down. This higher area of rock is typically called the horst and the lower area is called the graben. An example of these types of mountains are found in the Sierra Nevada mountain range. And this is also in the United States, located specifically in the Western United States. Next up are volcanic mountains. These mountains are caused by volcanic activity. And so they get their name volcanic mountains. And there are two different types of volcanic mountains. There are volcanoes and there are dome mountains. So volcanoes are formed when magma erupts and comes all the way to the surface of the earth and breaks through the crust. This magma will then harden on this earth's surface 
and it will gradually build up more and more and more to form a mountain. Whereas dome mountains are typically formed when there's a lot of magma that builds up just below the Earth's surface. It doesn't actually break all the way through the crust, but this force presses on the rock above the magma and it bulges out. And this forms a mountain, specifically a dome mountain. Some examples of volcanic mountains include Mount Fuji in Japan and Mount Mauna Loa in Hawaii. Some other fun facts about mountains is that mountains can be a home to many different types of biomes because it spans such a great difference in altitude. So it can be a forest or tundra or even a grassland. Another fun fact is around 20% of the Earth's surface is covered with mountains. And this includes mountains and mountain ranges that appear in the ocean as well. Surprisingly, many islands are actually just the tops of mountains coming up over the water. Another fact about mountains is that above 26,000 feet, this is called the death zone. And the reason this is called the death zone is because there's not enough oxygen to support life. And last, another fact about mountains is that there are scientists who specifically study mountains, and this field of science is called orology. Now, let's talk about the highest mountains on each continent. First, we'll start with the highest mountain of all mountains, and this is Mount Everest. Mount Everest is the highest mountain in Asia and the world, and it is located in Nepal and Tibet. It sits at a whopping 29,035 feet. Next up is Aconcagua, and this mountain is found in South America and is near the border between Argentina and Chile. This mountain is 22,841 feet high. Next is Denali, and Denali is located in North America and is specifically located in Alaska. And this mountain reaches 20,321 feet. Next up is Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro is found in Africa. Specifically, it is found in Tanzania and reaches 19,340 feet tall. Next is El Brus, and El Brus is the tallest mountain in Europe, and it is found in Russia. It is 18,510 feet tall. Moving right along, there is Mount Kosciuszko, and this mountain is found in Australia. And specifically, it's found in New South Wales. This mountain reaches 7,310 feet tall. And last but not least is Vincent Massif. And Vincent Massif is located in Antarctica, and this is near the South Pole, and it reaches a height of 16,066 feet. And that's all we have for today. Don't forget to do your homework, those four worksheets found in those science workbooks, and remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care. Bye.